Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the lazy wave using the stacking method. Uh, using this method you're going to be able to replicate designs like you see pictured here, kind of all around, all over color. You can do a lot of cool stuff using this design. First things first, we're going to lay down a bed of glue. You can use clear or white glue. I personally recommend clear glue. Once you get your glue laid out, uh, give it a nice little swirl so you have a nice flat, even canvas for your dies. I put my glue in, um, these are actually ultimate frisbee discs, but you can also use a nine inch cake pan. Now we're gonna come in with our lotion dies. If you haven't watched it yet, I have a tutorial on my YouTube as well as my Instagram page showing you how to specifically mix these dyes for the Lazy Wave. Now the Lazy Wave is kind of a tricky thing. I honestly believe that how you mix the dye and how you prepare it is very, very crucial to how your dye is going to look as a final result. So make sure you watch that video before attempting this dye. Essentially, you're gonna lay your, your die out like you see me doing here. Uh, the name of the game um, is getting all of the glue covered up completely. We don't want any kind of spots of glue poking out from under the die mixture. What that's gonna do is um, that can lead to bleeds and overall inconsistency in your final result. So whatever color combination you wanna go with, uh, you know, that's all up to you. The possibilities are literally endless. Just make sure that all of your glue is covered up by your dye mixture. That's very crucial to how it's going to look as a final result. Next thing we're going to do is come in with our dragging tool. Uh, personally, I use the bottom end of a paintbrush, a uh, paintbrush kind of on the smaller end. Uh, you can also use a toothpick or really whatever you have handy, but personally, I use the bottom end of a paintbrush. And you know, you're going to do just like you see me doing here in the video. Um, this is the traditional kind of classic Lazy Wave design. But just like I said with the colors, you know, the possibilities are literally endless. So feel free to get weird with it. Feel free to do, you know, whatever looks good to you. Have fun with it. Once you get your colors all laid out, you're gonna go ahead and drop your disc in the bed and you're gonna let that sit for two to 10 hours, two hours being for pastel, lighter type colors, and then 10 hours for full vibrancy. And this is what you can expect. This is the final result. Um, I believe this disc sat for eight hours. If you found this video helpful, do me a big favor and subscribe to the page and get ready for more tutorials. I got a lot more planned for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.